Hi everybody and welcome to NAC 3D Designs. Before we get started, I wanted to make a quick announcement that since Printed Solid has decided to produce the White Knight Belt Printer, I've gone ahead and joined their affiliate program. That way, when you guys get ready to buy your parts to build your printer, or pretty much any 3D printing supplies you can think of, if you click on the link provided below in the description, it will take you to my affiliate link for Printed Solid, so every dollar you spend will help make me a little bit to support future builds and the channel and future development of the White Knight, the Squire, and anything my brain can come up with. So uh, anyway, in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and mount our linear rails to our 2040 extrusion. So let's get started. In this installment, <clears throat> we are gonna go ahead and mount our linear rails to our aluminum extrusion. To do that, we're gonna need our two 700 millimeter pieces of aluminum extrusion, 2040 extrusion. We are going to need two pieces of linear rail cut to 700 millimeters. We're going to need three of our alignment brackets for 2040 extrusion. You'll need an Allen wrench to tighten these up. You'll need a tool for tapping threads, a two and a half millimeter drill bit, and a three millimeter tap. So first thing we do is we're going to slide on one of our alignment tools here. They're a snug fit. You may even have to file them just a little bit. I didn't want there to be any play at all. I'm going to slide this one all the way down to the middle. Now I'm going to take a piece of, of linear rail. And I'm going to slide it down the extrusion like this. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten this up. Now we're going to go ahead and put one of these on at each end. Now I try and space it so it's between two of the holes because you're definitely going to want to put a screw in this end hole on each end. One thing I'm noticing is I'm offset just a little bit, so I need to loosen these back up for a moment. I'm just going to flush out my inner rail on each end and tighten these back up. Now everything's held nice and tight in place and perfectly centered on the extrusion. We can go ahead and drill holes and tap them. Now, if you want to, you can drill at every single one of these holes and tap them. I personally don't see a need to do every single one. I think on the last one I did every third hole. So basically I'm drilling a hole, skipping two in the middle and drilling a hole.
Now I'm going to take this over to my drill press and I'm going to drill out all these holes I just marked. And then we'll repeat the same process for this one after we've tapped these out and put the screws in. I leave the, the alignment brackets on until I have drilled, tapped, and put the screws in. Then I take this off so I'm, I'm sure that it is secured perfectly centered on the 2040 extrusion. Okay, so I've drilled out the holes, skipping two between each one. Now what we need to do is we need to tap all these to metric three. Make sure you run the tap all the way down as far as you can so you cut the threads to the full depth and we're just going to repeat that all the way down. Every once in a while make sure you haven't clogged your threads up with any aluminum. Don't want to cross thread this. You've only got a few threads you're cutting into this. If you strip it, you're not going to be able to thread it deeper. All right, so all the holes are tapped. Now, before we go swinging this thing, remember, remember, there's all sorts of filings in there now, so go ahead and clear it out over a trash can. All right, so we will need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten metric three by eight millimeter screws. And we will need some blue Loctite. We want to make sure these don't vibrate loose under all the movement. I'm just going to put a little dab on the end of each screw. Something about like that. Hopefully you can see it. Go ahead and start threading these in. Now I'm just going to torque these all down nice and tight. Careful not to over tighten them that you strip the threads out. Now we can go ahead and loosen up our alignment brackets or alignment tools and remove those.
and there we have one extrusion with the linear rail mounted. Now we just need to repeat the same step for that one and we'll have this part of the assembly completed. All right, so that wraps up today's episode. Now remember, if you like what I'm doing here, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for updates. If you'd like to help support the channel, there is the printed solid affiliate link, an Amazon wish list, and a PayPal me link all in the description below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.